Greetings and salutations, ladies, gentlemen, and NPDorkables back to the Dookie Zone, or welcome into the Dookie Zone. My name is Woofy, and I humbly welcome you to episode 27 of The Thousand Year Bork, the Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door playthrough. Last time, we finally got through all of the puny puzzles, I think. Since there's like a healing station and a save point, I have a feeling that there's a boss waiting for us on the other side. And if that's the case, then we will finish the second chapter today. Which would be really cool if we could get there. So we're just gonna get right into it. Place the beauty orb. Oh, that's where the crystal star is. I see. Oh dear me! Mario, isn't that the crystal star? Oh dear! That wretched beast again! Deary me! Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right into my lap, huh? Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. You know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote type pop detonator! I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble! Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dang old tree! And with that, pow, it's gone! I must say, I craved exciting times, but I never expected this! Let's go, quickly now! Follow me! We need to get out of here! Oh, so we're all on a timer here. Ah, oh, see, that sucks. Perfect. There we go. gonna drink a potion. What's that gonna do? Oh, attack power is boosted. Doesn't matter if I kill him. We need to get out of this tree now! Let's just make sure we save. Hey, right, hurry! We need to get out of here! That's not a lot of time though. I gotta give them that. That is not a lot of time to work with. We really have to hurry or it goes wrong and we'll all be destroyed. Um... I have a feeling that I'm going the right direction. And that feeling could very well be very wrong. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Uh, well, uh, see you later, Prinnies. How- okay, so that's why we have all that time, I guess. Come on, really? I don't have time for this, come on. This is the one time where you should not be difficult, okay? The one time! 
Please, I beg you. Thank you. Yes, over on the other side. Thank you. We're very on very borrowed time. So please just... Uh... Oh my goodness, this is awful. All right. Wait, so they did get over here, I guess. Where are the last two? God damn it. I can't do this if you get stuck. This sucks. All right, whatever. I'm gonna leave you here. I don't care. I stop caring. Like, we, we don't have time for this. We literally don't. So go to the Elder. You won't be going any farther this way. What? Are you nuts? Moving, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, Brett. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power, activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got a new hair tingling your brain or what? Oh, oh. What the ouch? Can't take another step. Oh. Yeah. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot-headed old coot. You dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you. Ahem. You'll do no such thing. Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? I do believe you'll be handing over that crystal star and promptly exiting this tree. <laughs> you guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Awake, Magnus von Grubble! Time for a technological thrashing! Enjoy! Okay, that's a cool concept. I like that. That was really cool. Gotta give him that. Are you crying yet? Yeah? Sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus von Grubble has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Mercy me. That metal colossus is incredible. Hmm. And yet there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. Let's try this. I mean, I could also just, you know, miss it completely. That didn't do anything. Fair enough. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Fun Punish! Okay. You really want to do this? Oh my! I'm so bad. I am so goddamn bad. Uh, I think what we need to do is appeal. What an annoying opponent. I- what is happening? My timings are ass right now. Mm. Let's do a body slam instead, I guess. I think I'm getting bullied a little bit. 
And this time I could defend. Okay, so far so good. I'm just gonna do a normal spin jump for now. I'm doing so badly with this. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something. No, we could not, because I'm not that lucky. Oh okay, Mario is getting really low. So I do believe that I'm gonna let her do some stuff. That was a triple. Alright, let's actually use items. Uh, yeah, the only one that would make sense would be the uh, big one. Because he does need the HP. It's just a shame that the 50 are wasted, kinda. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Ah, I know exactly what's happening here. Good stuff. Do a body slam. Nice. Damn it. What did he actually get hit by? I don't know. Oh, we finally have what I want. Uh, the special. I still think the multi-bounce is the good one. <sighs> I need to get better at these timing things because I suck at them right now. Let's buff Mario a little bit. Hmm. Let's use this on uh, Flurry, the boo sheet. Just get rid of the uh, hands one at a time, I guess. Because I feel those are the ones that will do something nasty if I let them. Okay. So far, so good. I'm so bad. Alright, whatever. We're gonna give... Let's give some flower power up in here. I think we need it. Okay, we defended that one. That's good. Now it's time for that special that I completely wasted last time. I'm ready for it this time. I hope. Ah, okay, whatever. It's gonna be good. It was, it was all right. Actually, 
It won't hurt to appeal. It might do some good. fortune now a fortune now the effect of the sir of the curse increased just our points oh baby 60 star points Ooh. have you seen that before good stuff I have come to the conclusion that I need HP more than anything How could we lose? <sighs> I'll remember this, losers. <sighs> Lord Crump summons us. Well, retreat, heads up, run away. Well, wait up. A rousing success, Mario. How delightful. Yeah, come on. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. Oh. All right there, Mario. Oh. All right there, Mario. You can have the Emerald Star, the Crystal Star that recited in this tree. You got a Crystal Star, and you learned the special move, Clog Out. Let's see what that is about. End. Of chapter. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x nauts gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the great tree. The Buckley Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last a hero hears from the vile x nauts they will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. That again? You can't get in touch with Lord Crumb? You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. <laughs> sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in the Buckley Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crumb and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x -Nort. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Oaksale Castle, Buckley Woods, the one we got in Roadport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them! Keep looking, so that Mario won't beat us to the punch! Yes, sir! As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must! Listen up, you! I want you to keep a close watch on that Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. <sighs> Mario, I loathe you.
Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I ever dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Oh, is this text doing again? It doesn't work. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? I excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together. It's part of love. I know it. But then again, you're, well, a computer. Princess Peach. Please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness. Is that me? Did you create that? Oh, all right, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Oh, no. Don't do that. I don't like that. Oh, my God. I'm doing stupid. I'm so bad. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. So, where we go? Oh, Bowser! I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. <laughs> that 
and I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. Why was that Charlotte Brule? What? No way. Are we going to do that? No way. What, what is happening? Am, am I dreaming? Was that actually happening? Uh, <laughs> how this can be happening? <laughs> it cannot be happening. What is this? <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is so good. <laughs> okay, that was fun. I loved it. Oh, hey, welcome to Pedalberg and uh, 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 hide, everybody, hide. What a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I've found you, my princess. I, Bowser the Mighty Cooper King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> I see, I see. How refined. How elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know. No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! Oh, sir! Oh, my goodness me! Didn't see that coming. Great! Just great! Now I look like the huge, mighty king of guys who talk to posters! <laughs> Bowser is hella cute in this game, I love him. He's so good. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating. So come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta-ta! See you, Mr. Mario. We're on our way home. I have a feeling that we need to go back to Rogueport. Oh, mercy me. Sounds like some mail. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email, I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? 
You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Isn't that precious, Mario? <laughs> and that was a stupid move. Because now I'm gonna jump into the... Yep. I actually remember that. Oh well, I took care of one of them. Oh, it's lovely that we have three flower points now. Or, or star points. Oh. Hey, yo! What? You can do that? She can't really do anything. So, Coops, get out here. We're doing the power shell. Freestyler. Then let's try this again, shall we? Really? Another stylish move? Good job, Coops. I'm proud of you. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot how much money I had. Goodness. That's gonna be awesome. Those guys, on the other hand, are not very awesome. They're actually very annoying. Right, so what we'll do here is a power shell. God, so stop it. Oops. Awesome. But I think we're done with this area. This is not gonna give us any more... Like, any more advantages. In a way, this sounds crazy, but I wish you could actually buy a level. In the, at the store for, like... Uh, maybe let's just say those star shards could be used for that as well. That would be so cool. We're leaving the Buckley Woods behind. It's such a weird feeling. I was there for quite some time. But, uh... That ain't the case now. And now I can use her skills for a lot of things. Uh, which I have always wanted. I've always wanted some, uh... Oh, wait a second. Hold up a little second here. Can you go this way? Oh, you can! So, oh, there it is. Damage dodge. Awesome. Cool. Cool. I love that I'm learning. Like the more I play this game, the more I learn. It's such a, it's such an incredibly well-designed game, if you ask me. It, it makes a lot of the work worth it. You feel like you're getting rewarded for the effort you put in. 
Let's get this away. Let's see what we got here. Happy Heart P. Slowly and automatically restore HP in battle. Pretty good stuff. Uh, let's see. What's over here? Oh! I found the way to the crystal door. I see. Gotcha. What is in here? I've actually never gone up here. Whee! Oh, there was a shine sprite here. Just want to check, you know? Curiosity killed the cat and all that. What does it say? Danger, do not enter this pipe if the entrance to the pit of hundred trials. Oh, so this is an area you go to for late game. Oh, that's so cool. They got a late game area? What? All right, they've definitely been thinking. They've been using their uh, big brains for this game. Just a shame from what I hear. Uh, that uh, the rest of the games in this franchise is pretty bad. Sucks. So let's see, where's the next crystal star? Now, my little Mario, it's crystal star time. And we are charging the map with energy. So we'll see what the next one is. Good stuff. Up in the sky. Oh, you have to use the Zeppelin for that, I guess. In Rogueport. Location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Hmm. It means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? Brigands. If not, then what? No, that's not. Hmm? That's not what? I don't know. Frankly, please. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure that it was that caused the town's demise. And all that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and a cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make an, well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena where there are great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wait on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. 
The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Wait on the streets is all tickets go through Don Pian's on the west side. Head west from Rogue Pulse May Plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianza, the Pianza Syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianza makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzrill. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianza fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a Syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianza is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. So what's that? We got a mail? What is in the mail? Oh, it's not here. What's up, Coops? After you found me, Coops, I found a nice hiding nook at a place called Goomstar Temple. It's so cold my shell is frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. Obviously, I don't know want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the pine I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide and see Koopa. See you later, or not. I kept the puny orb? They just gave it to me? Okay, fair enough. Won't hear me complain. <laughs> Welcome to the home of Melon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Flurry. Shall I power up this partner? Zazumi! Zazumi! Care to power up more? Shall I power up this partner? Jazzabi! Jazzabi! Then you may go. So, we actually managed to level them all up. Lip lock, multi bunk. Oh, so every time you upgrade them, they get new moves. I get you. That makes sense. That's cool. But, everyone, that concludes episode 27 of the Thousand Year Port, the Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door playthrough. My name is Wolfie, and I sure hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was very tough on my uh, vocal cords, but I sure hope it was worth it for all of you. If you like what you've been watching, please remember to put in a like on this video, put in a comment about what you thought of the episode, and if you don't want to miss any new uploads here in the Doogie Zone, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any other upload and it go directly to your feed. Take care and see you next time.